So what'd you get up to last night, Davo? <sighs> Same old shit. Beer at the pub with the boys, followed by dinner with the missus. Nice. How's that boy toy treating you? Which one's that? <laughs> what? It is a free world us girls live in as well, is it not? I guess that depends on one's perception. You seriously have a problem with a little female exploration? <laughs> no. No, not at all. More fun for me. For me. Oh, you're out. <laughs> I'm okay. Is this another one of those bloody Syrians? No, African, I think. Oh, hello. What's your name? Oh, okay. Oh, look, welcome to Australia. Here, take a house, have some money. Yet don't pay any taxes. Just enjoy the country on us taxpaying locals. Are you sure this is the right address? The address he gave us. Oh. Come on, make up a car. I'm using some new stuff. It's fine. Hi, I'm Claire, the journalist sent to interview you. Um, this is my cameraman, Dave. G'day. Should we come in? So where would you like to, to do the interview? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we could... We'll set up in there then, won't we? I'll just... I'll poppy on through. Have you done a TV interview before? Okay. Um, we'll just talk about, about your time here, how you're enjoying being in Australia. Uh, your journey. <sighs> I hope it's not too long. Yeah. What time's our next spot? Um, I think. Oh. You ready to get started? Okay. Well, I'll just. If you wanna, if you wanna come in. A uh, a limo. Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's let's get you sitting down here. And okay, I'll get you sitting down. Awesome. I'm just gonna mark you up. Don't worry about that. And then I'll just. Do you mind if I just put that in your shirt? Just is that okay? I'll just in there like. Don't mind about that. And then we just. I. Okay. All right, let's frame you up. Hi, do you have any questions before we get started? Okay. Uh, ready to roll? Yep. Rolling and action. Alima, can you tell us where you're from? Sudan. South Sudan. Can you tell us why you're seeking uh, refuge in Australia? And did you come over with your family? You came over alone? Alima, is there a reason you wanted to do this interview today? Us. I didn't want to do this. 
The Sudanese girls are taught to keep silence. When I was eight years old, my village was attacked. My mother and I could not get out of the village fast enough. They found us. She hid me under some blankets. I watched as they raped and then killed her. I haven't seen my father, my brothers, my sister since. When I was 11 and a half, my foster family married me to a man. It is a common thing for girls who are alone to be sold into, to be married off for brighter wealth. I'm pregnant. At 12 years old. I was not ready to carry a baby. Once I was strong enough, I ran away. So where did you go then? I stayed in Stayed in a few villages for a while. But the body was my right and nobody wanted much to do with me. Can you tell us what happened? The scar on your face. I was searching for wood fire just outside of the village. I was attacked by 10 men. I know because I counted every single one. One man said to me, I'm planting myself and my tribe in you and ending your race. A baby. Time for me to be a voice of my sisters. Time to be a voice of my mom. This new um, restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, have you heard of it? <clears throat> this restaurant. It's on.